Welcome to the Smithy Showroom. My name's Dave, and I would like to introduce you to one of the new members of our Smithy Tool lineup. This is the Smithy Midas 409 MZ Mill. The reason we call this the 409 is very simple. The table is 40 inches wide, and it's 9 inches deep. Now, you'll notice this machine is solid cast iron. None of that flimsy plastic and sheet metal. It weighs almost 800 pounds, so it's going to give you the rigidity you need for those milling projects. Now, something really nice about this mill, you notice the mill head here is not mounted on one of those round columns where everything slips sideways on you when you raise it up and down. This has precision machined ways that keep that alignment, whether you're down here close to the table or you're way up high for those bigger projects. And there's an adjustment here. This is called a gib. We'll talk about that later. But the gib controls the fit between the mill head here and the column. So you can adjust that to keep your accuracy in your machine. That same adjustment right down here, you see a gib that controls the fit this way. And if you can look underneath here, you'll see a gib that controls the fit this way. You can keep your machine adjusted for the maximum accuracy that you want for your projects. You have six different speeds that are controlled from this lever right here. You can go from 95 RPM all the way up to 1500. This is your feed for your quill. Okay. You notice right now I'm feeding it like a drill press. Okay. If I want to do that fine precision feed, pull this lever out, okay, and then I can use this and do a fine feed, just like that. So you've got fine and coarse feed, either one on here. The head will raise and lower just by using this crank here to raise it up or to take it down. You've got 16 inches of travel here on that head. Now this mill head here, all your gear is inside running an oil bath. You've got an oil sight gauge right here, and this is your little filler plug where you add oil or put fresh oil in as needed. You can also tilt this whole mill head 45 degrees either way. There's a bolt here, right down here, and one on the other side. When those are loosened up, you can put that mill head on an angle for those special projects where you, that's going to really come in handy. When you're feeding your spindle in and out, you have a lock here. You can lock it in position. You have a digital readout that gives you exact location of that spindle. A depth gauge that can be set for precise depth drilling. You'll find that the spindle here uses an R8 collet. That's the, the collet setup that was made famous by Bridgeport. So we're not going to trap you into having to buy weird or strange collets just from us. Okay? Up here on top of the mill head is our two horsepower motor. This motor is convertible 110 or 220, so you've got that option in your shop. All of our electrical controls for the motor are right here. When you have power on, your green lights lit, push your stop button, shuts the power off to the machine. And now we've got our mill running, or we stop our mill right here. Now, you notice up here it says mill drill, and it says tap. If you turn this over to tap, that's a special automatic cycle. If you want to tap a hole, you set the machine up, and this will run the tap down into your workpiece. When it gets to the depth you've set, it'll automatically reverse the motor and bring the tap right back up out of there. It's a very, very handy feature. Okay. We have power feeds on this machine. There's a power feed here on this spindle. We've got a selector over here. There's six different speeds for your power feed. So what we're going to do here is we're going to turn our head on and we're going to pick a speed. Okay? Now, you notice this is turning now. Okay? That tells us our power feed's ready to go. To engage the power feed, move the handles out. Now I've got this on a very slow feed rate, so it's moving down pretty slow. You get to where you want to stop the power feed, pull the handles back in again. Now our large table here 
has 25 inches of travel side to side. You've got six inches of travel front to back. I already mentioned earlier that you've got 16 inches of travel on your mill head and you have five and a quarter inches of travel on your spindle. Now on the table we use a standard 5 8 T-slot. Nothing special, a standard. We try to stick with that. Okay, now here's our power feed on the main table. It sits right here on the end. We can flip it on from the power switch. Make sure that your feed is all the way down on zero when you start out so it doesn't take off. Okay. Let's move the handle over this way. Turn it up a little bit. We've got quite a bit of different speed ranges here available. If you're trying to get from one end to the other in a hurry, you have a rapid feed button. And to reverse the power feed, you just come back through neutral and back the other way. So this gives you power feed both on your direction this way, called the x-axis, and power feed here on the mill on your z-axis.